Mars, do you know where we are? We are in the heart of the rainforest. And today we're going on an extraordinary journey through the dense green canopies to meet some of the most fascinating animals that call the rainforest their home. Are you ready to venture into the wild? Okay, let's go exploring. Whoa, did you hear that sound? What could possibly be making that sound? I say that we make the same sound and see if the animal comes out. One, two, three. E, E, E. Let's do it one more time. E, E, E. <gasps> wow, this is a toucan. Hey, let's spell toucan. T, O, U. C A N Toucan and they fly around the rainforest. Toucans are known for their large colorful bills, which can grow up to more than half of their body size. Despite their size, these bills are lightweight due to a hollow structure. They are native to the rainforests of Central and South America. Toucans play an important role in their ecosystem by dispersing fruit seeds throughout the forest. Wow, that was pretty cool. Now let's say goodbye to the toucan. Bye toucan, ee, ee, ee. <laughs> hey, I think I heard another sound. Did you hear it? Whoa, what do you think that animal could be? Hey, how about we make the sound together and we'll see if the animal comes out. One, two, three. Ooh, 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 ooh. <coughs> hey, the animal came out and it's a gorilla. Hey, let's spell gorilla together. G-O-R-I-L-L-A, gorilla. Wow. Gorillas are the largest primates in the world, and they live in family groups led by a silverback who is the dominant male. They primarily eat plants and consume up to 40 pounds of vegetation a day. Wow, no wonder why they are so strong. Wow, that gorilla was so cool. Let's say goodbye to the gorilla together. Can you pound on your chest with me? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Goodbye, gorilla. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There it goes. Are you having so much fun in the rainforest? I'm definitely, whoa. Did you see that swinging through the trees? Hey, let's put on our binoculars to see if we can find it. Do you have your binoculars on? Great. Hmm. There it goes again. What could it be? Hey, it's a chimpanzee. Let's spell chimpanzees together. C-H-I-M-P-A-N-Z-E-E. -E. Chimpanzee. Wow, that was a big word. Good job spelling it with me. Chimpanzees share about 98% of their DNA with humans. That's us, making them our closest living relatives in the animal kingdom. They use tools for various purposes, such as using sticks to extract termites from mounds and leaves to soak up drinking water. They love to climb and swing in the trees with their friends. Whoa, that little chimpanzee really knows how to swing, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, so cool. Let's wave goodbye to the chimpanzee. Bye, chimpanzee. <laughs> hey, it looks like we're coming up on a river in the rainforest. Let's use our super special water binoculars to see in the water. Can you put those on with me? Great job. Okay, now let's look in the river. Hmm, <gasps> hey, there's a manatee living in there. 
Let's spell manatee together. M A N A T E E. Manatee. Manatees, also known as sea cows, are gentle marine mammals known for their slow moving and peaceful demeanor. They are herbivores. That means they feed on underwater plants in the coastal areas and rivers. Hey, that manatee was really good at swimming. Can we swim like a manatee together? Okay, let's swim. Wow, are we slow like the manatees? Yeah, oh, we're so good at swimming just like the manatees are. Okay, let's keep looking for other animals. what I'm thinking? I think it's something that hops. What's something that hops? Hmm. A frog! Yeah! Wow, it is a frog! Let's spell frog. F-R-O-G. Frog. Did you know that frogs undergo a fascinating transformation in their lifetime? 
from tadpoles to fully formed frogs with legs and lungs? They play a crucial role in the ecosystem as both predators and prey, helping to control insect populations and serving as food for many other animals. Frogs have special skin that allows them to absorb water and breathe underwater. Isn't that cool? Wow, that frog was so cute. Can you hop like a frog with me? All right, ready? Hop, hop, hop. Are you hopping like a frog? Great, let's keep hopping. Hop, hop, hop. I think I see something, but I think we need to put on our binoculars. There they are. Ooh, what could that be? Hmm. It's an iguana, wow. Let's spell iguana together. I, G, U, A, N, A, iguana. Iguanas are lizards known for their impressive size with some species growing up to six feet long, whoa. They are excellent climbers and can be found on the top of trees to regulate their body temperatures. Can we climb a tree like an iguana, little stars? Okay, on the count of three, one, two, three, climb up the tree. Wow! Oh my goodness, we're almost to the top. <gasps> hey, I see something in the tree too. What do you think it could be? It's moving really slowly. Huh. I think I know what that is. It's a sloth. Whoa. Let's spell sloth together. S L O T H. Sloth. Sloths are known for their slow movement. They spend most of their lives hanging upside down in trees of the tropical rainforests in Central and South America. Did you know sloths have a special relationship with algae, which grows on their fur and provides camouflage? Wow, I didn't know that much about sloths. That's pretty cool. Do you wanna move slow like a sloth with me? Okay. Maybe this time we can slowly climb through the trees, okay? Let's do it. Ooh, slow. Maybe we're hungry too, so we'll eat something. <laughs> hey, you're a good sloth. Nice and slow. Oh no, what could that be? Did you hear that? Oh my goodness. Maybe if we make that sound, the animal will come out, okay? So let's roar as scary as we can on the count of three. One, two, three. Roar! Oh my gosh! This is a jaguar! Wow! Hey, your roar was really good. So let's roar out how we spell jaguar, okay? J A G U A R Jaguar. Wow. Jaguars are the largest big cats in the Americas and the third largest in the world after tigers and lions. They are known for their powerful builds, beautiful rosette pattern coats, and incredibly strong jaws and teeth. Jaguars are apex predators, meaning they are at the top of the food chain and play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of their ecosystem. They primarily hunt on the ground, but are also adept swimmers and love to climb in the trees. Whoa, jaguars are pretty cool. Do you want to pretend to be a jaguar climbing up a tree with me? Okay, let's climb up the tree just like a jaguar would. And I think a jaguar would use claws. Can you show me your claws? All right, let's climb this tree. 
Let's go fast. <laughs> wow, being a jaguar is so much fun. What an incredible adventure we've had in the depths of the rainforest. Thank you for joining us and learning all about the rainforest animals. We've met amazing animals, listened to the unique sounds of the rainforest, and learned about the importance of each one. You all did a fantastic job, and I'm incredibly happy that I get to explore with you each day. You are so loved, so smart and kind, and that's what makes my sunshine. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, touch your nose. If you're happy and you know it, touch your nose. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, touch your nose. If you're happy and you know it, pat your tummy. If you're happy and you know it, pat your tummy. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, pat your tummy. If you're happy and you know it, do a jump. If you're happy and you know it, do a jump. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do a jump. If you're happy and you know it, do a spin. If you're happy and you know it, do a spin. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do a spin. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! <laughs>
This book has donkeys on it. Oh, they're so cute. Hmm. This must be the front of the book. This is the back of the book. And this is the spine of the book. The big words are the title. And the little words are the author and the illustrator. This book is called The Stinky Wonky Donkey. Oh my gosh. Well, let's open it and see what it's all about. There was a cute young donkey, so cute and small, who loved every creature from tiny to tall. I love every animal, of that there's no doubt. I love them so much, Dinky Donkey called out. <laughs> there's Dinky Donkey. Really, said Wonky, which do you love best? Which animal do you love more than the rest? I don't really know, we donkey confessed. I've never thought which I love more than the rest. She heed and she hawed and pondered a while. She shook her wee mane, then with a big smile, reindeer, she said, and donkeys that bray stampeding warthogs out of their way. I love hippopotamuses, zebras, and goats. I love beautiful horses with smooth, glossy coats. With all of my heart, I love lambs too, camels and antelopes and cows that go moo. And as Wonky listened, his face was deadpan, but he was devising an outrageous plan. Those animals that you love so much, the reindeer, horses, camels, and such, they have one thing in common, and it's not their moves. Can you guess what it is? They all have hooves. You love hoofed animals with all of your heart. That makes you hoof-hearted, he says, feeling smart. Hoof-hearted, hoof-hearted, without a doubt. I am hoof-hearted, Dinky called out. Her daddy then brayed aloud happily. Is your granny hoof-hearted? He asked with glee. Off Dinky trotted, and he was back in a tick. Granny says she's hoof-hearted, then had a giggling fit. <laughs> Laughing some more, Wonky then said, Go and ask Mommy, she's out in the shed. Away Dinky ran, then back she darted. Yes, Daddy, she said. Mommy's also hoof-hearted. I'm glad she has admitted it, he said with a guffaw. Dinky's dad was now rolling around on the floor. Then he slowly got up saying, oh no, no more. And he headed outside through the stable door. Catching him quickly before he departed, Dinky asked, Daddy, are you hoof-hearted? Well, Dinky, said Wonky, to tell you the truth and to answer your question, here, pull my hoof. Poof! Oh my goodness! That was a silly book! What did we learn from Little Dinky Donkey? We learned that he loves all of the animals, especially animals that have hooves, just like Dinky Donkey and his family. Wow, what a great book! Get up! Let's go! Move your body! Get up! Let's go! I've got two legs that I can run and jump, two arms that I can swing and pump, two feet that I can tap and stomp, two hands that I can clap and thump. Move your body, move your body, move your body. Come on, come on. Move your body, move your body, move your body. Come on, come on. A neck that can bend and straight. I've got a back that can stretch and bend. I've got a waist that I can twitch again. Move your body, move your body, move your body. Come on, come on. Move your body, move your body, move your body. Come on, come on. Move your body.
For more information, visit ilovecircletime.com. More music coming soon. Hey, little stars. We have all of these cars. Let's start with this car. Hmm. Hey, this is a taxi, a yellow taxi. Taxis drive around and pick people up and take them to places they want to go. And it's really cute. Let's do this one next. Ooh, this is a crane. Cranes lift things up. What color is the crane? It looks like the color green. Can you say green? Green, a green crane. And it moves. Let's do this truck next. Ooh, this truck is yellow, orange, and green. And it has vegetables on it. It's a vegetable truck. This takes all of the vegetables to all of the grocery stores for us to buy and eat. This is a pretty cool truck. Let's do this one next. I think you guys might know what this one is. This is a fire truck. Look, it has a ladder and lights, and the color of it is red, a red fire truck. Wee -oo, wee -oo. Do you know what fire trucks do? Fire trucks drive around, and then when there's a fire, they have water in their trucks. So they'll drive up to the house and they'll spray the water. And the firefighters work very hard to keep us safe. So let's put the fire truck right back and do the next car. Whoa, this is a type of bus. It's a green bus. And this bus is really, really cool because there's two layers. It's a double-decker bus. So people can sit down here and people can sit up here. This would be really fun to drive around in. Let's do the next car. Ooh, this is a police car, a white police car. It has its lights on the top and it drives around and police cars also keep us safe. This is really cool, I like this car. Let's do this one next. Hey, you guys might know what this one is. This is a school bus, but it's not a yellow school bus. It's a teal school bus. It's not green, it's not blue, it's teal. Can you say teal? That was really good. School buses come and pick us up and take us to school, yeah.
The next car. Hey, this is a cool little car. This is called a dump truck. A blue dump truck. Dump trucks drive around and they pick up any kind of junk that we might not want anymore or trash. And it takes it and drives it to the dump. A dump truck. Your dog. Only two cars left. <gasps> this is one of my favorite cars. It's actually a truck, not a car. And it's a recycling truck. It's white and blue. This comes and picks up all of our recycling and takes it to the recycling center. This is a cool truck. Only one car left, and it's a police van. Wow. This is what police officers use to drive around and put their stuff inside. Sometimes they have a big dog. That is a pretty cool van. This was so much fun. Thank you for helping me and learning about all the different types of cars. Did you have a favorite car? That is a good one. My favorite was the vegetable truck because I'm getting pretty hungry. So I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, little stars. Welcome to Miss Robin's Playhouse. This is where we come and learn to play together. Would you like to see what we have to play with today? You would? Okay, let's see. <gasps> Look, it's a school of counting fish. Oh, and we've got a big narwhal. See the little horn? They all look so happy. Do you think we can count these fish together, little stars? Let's start with the number one. Where is number one? <gasps> there it is. First, we'll put the purple number one fish on the narwhal's back. Where is the next fish? Would it be this one, the number three, the number five, or the number two? That's right, number two. So we've got one, two. I think the next fish we'll need is number three. There he is. Hi, number three. Oh, good. We're doing a good job of balancing. Now, what comes? We've got one, two, three. What comes next? Would it be fish number five or fish number four? Hmm. That's right, fish number four. Let's see if we can make it balance. Ooh, this is so tricky. We did it, little stars. So we've got fishy number one, fish number two, Fish number three and fish number four. But oh, they look like they could fall over. Do you think we could put the next fish there? We have one left. Fish number five. Will we balance it or will they all fall down? Oh no. Well, let's try again. So we've got fishy number one. Fish number two, fish number three. What comes next? Fish number four or fish number five? That's right, fish number four. Ooh, will we keep it? Oh, I don't know. It's pretty shaky. We did it. So we've got one, two, three, four. Here's fishy number five. Will we be able to balance it? What? No. <gasps> we did it! We did it! Let's count all together. 
Dish number one, two, three, four, five. Now let's see if we can count backwards. Five, four, three, two, and last but not least, one. Great job, little stars. We counted all of the fish. We counted them forwards, one, two, three, four, five, and we counted them backwards, five, four, three, two, one. I had so much fun playing with you. You did an excellent job of playing the counting game. Maybe you can practice counting on your own. Until next time, keep learning and growing, little stars. Bye-bye. This is the phonics song, and we get to learn our ABCs, our letter sounds, and even practice it in ASL. Come on, let's go! A Qu, qu, 
qua qua quilt. Qua qua quilt. Q. Qua 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 quiet. Qua qua quiet. R. Er 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 rocket. Er er rocket. R. Er 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 red. Er er red. F. Star. Star. S. Sun. Sun. T. 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 Turtle. T. T. Turtle. T. 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 Tickle. T. T. Tickle. U. stars miss robin reads a lot sent me these th things and i think she wants us to try and open them up and see what's on the inside can you help me open these things up to see what they are great let's get started let's start with the yellow one squish 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 oh there's only one letter in here and it's the letter I. 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 Can you point to yourself and say I? I. Great job. I. Now let's do the teal one. Squish. Whoa. There's a lot of letters in this one. A. Oh my goodness. There's so much Play-Doh. D and N. Hmm. I wonder what this word spells. A A D D N N. Hmm. Let's see. What word does this make? Add. No, that's not a word. Maybe if we switch the D and the N. And, 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 the word is and. Wow, okay, let's do the next one. Let's do orange this time. Hmm, Rah, so much Play-Doh. <gasps> we have the letter H and the letter E and the letter T. Hmm. H, E, E, and T. T. Hmm. I don't think this is a word. Het. No. Oh, I think I know this word. 
the T goes in front. This is the word the. TH makes the th sound. The. Whoa, that one was a little tricky. Do you want to see what the next one is? Okay. The last one is dark blue. All right, open, open. Whoa, there are so many letters in this one. Y, U, and O. Y for yeah, U for uh, and O for ah. Hmm. This kind of looks like a word that I know. Like this. Y O U. This spells you. You. Can you point? You. Wow, we did so many words. We did you. We did the. And I, I. Wow, we just learned so many new words. All of these words are sight words. Sight words are words that we see in books, on TV. They're used all the time, everywhere, and we just made a lot of them. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, Miss Robin, for helping us learn new sight words together. I'll see you soon. Bye. I have something to show you. This is a book. You spell book B-O-O-K. Let's sound it out. B-U-K. B-U-K. Book. Can you say book? Great! Book. I love reading books. How many books have you read? Whoa, that's a lot. I'm gonna go try to catch up. Bye! I'm gonna teach you the difference between uppercase letters and lowercase letters. Are you ready? Let's go! Uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase. Now stop. Let's go! Uppercase A and lowercase A. Uppercase B and lowercase B. Uppercase C and lowercase C. Uppercase D and lowercase D. Uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase. Now stop. Let's go. Uppercase B and lowercase B. Uppercase.
and I'm Captain Diamond. Today we're going to learn to count balls. Count the color balls. That's right. Learn to count. We're going to put all these balls here on this kitchen pan and we're going to learn how to count. I'm going to ask Wes to count the color of the ball and then he's going to count them and we're going to see if it's correct. For example, Wes. How many pink balls are there? One. Are you sure? Yes. Are you positive? Count them for the audience. One. Boom! All right. How many purple balls are there? Two. Are you sure? Yes. Count them. One, two. Perfect. You see? You get it? Awesome. Are you guys ready? Is General West ready? Yes! Let's go! All right, this one is going to be really fun. Wes, how many purple balls are there? One, two, three, four, five. Are you sure? Yes. Let's count them again. One, two, two three, four, five. Yes, you got it. Give me a high five. Boom. Oh, another one. Boom. Okay, Wes, how many red balls are there? One. Are you sure? Yes. Count it for me. One. Hmm. You're right. There's only one red ball. And how many orange balls are there? Two. Two. I think I need you to do what? Count, Count them. One. Two. That's right. And last but not least, how many green balls are there? Three. Three? Can I try it? Yeah. Okay. One. Two. Three. Yes, there's three balls. Okay, now, this is a tough, tough question, Wes. How many balls are there in total? Can you count them? Let's count them together. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are 12 total balls here on this pan. Wes, I think we did a great job. Are you ready to do some more counting? Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, Wes, that is a lot of balls. Are you ready to try to count this with me? Yes. Okay, hmm, what colors do you see here? I see four pink balls, five orange balls, four green balls, and three red balls. Awesome. Let's try to actually put the same color balls in the same line, okay? What do you think we need to do? Hmm. Okay, I like where your head is going. Okay, ooh, ooh. Hey, did he do it right? All the orange balls are right here. All the pink balls are right here. All the purple balls are right here. All the green balls are right here. And all the red balls are right here. You did a great job. Boom! Okay, now, let's count them together. How many purple balls are there? Five. Five. I think we need to count them. Are you sure? Let's count them together. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. That is right. And how many red balls are there? Three. Let's count them together. One, two, three. Great job. Now, I think you said that there was five pink balls earlier. I th Let's try and count them together and see if that's right. You ready? One, two, three, four. There's only four pink balls. It's okay. We we do this by counting over again and making sure we get it right. Right? Yeah. All right. And last but not least, how many green balls are there? Four. Four? Are you sure? Yeah. Then let's see. Count them. One, two, three, three. four. Man, that is awesome. Now what we're going to do is combine a certain amount of colors and see how many total balls are there. Okay, Wes, how many pink and purple balls are there? Four, 
Four pink balls. And four pink balls. And five purple balls. Five purple balls. And what number does that come out to be? If you have four pink balls and five purple balls, how many are there in total? Nine. Nine? I think we should try to count this together, right? Right, little stars? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine! Yes! There's nine balls! There's nine pink and purple balls. I think I want to count all of them. Are you ready? Yes. Are you sure? Yes! Let's go. All right. We're going to start with what? Orange? Yeah. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Is a lot. Now, are you ready to do some more counting? Whatever you say, Captain Dom. Whatever I say, Captain Dom. I like it. Whoa. That is a lot of colors and a lot of balls that we are going to have to count. Isn't this cool? Yes. Awesome. Okay. I think we should keep all the colors together, right? All the reds should stay with the reds. The blues should stay with the blues and greens and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Let's put them together. Let's start with the red. Can you put those in the right section? Awesome, yes. Awesome, perfect. All the reds are together. Now, let's put the pinks next to the reds. Ooh. Okay, there, and then we'll put that there. Now, let's put all the orange ones next to the pink. Two, three, four. Okay, now let's put the yellows next to the orange. Yes, awesome. And now let's put the greens next to the yellows. Oh, you got it. There you go. Okay. And then we'll put the purples over here, and then the blues next to the greens. Whoa! How about this? We'll make it look like uh, a simple rainbow. We'll go red, orange, yellow, pink, green, blue. Oh, actually, we'll move these greens over next to the yellows. And then, whoop, and then we'll do purple and blue. Wow, that looks really cool. Okay, Wes, how many yellow ones do we have? Two. You say two? Are you sure? Three. We have three? Let's count them. One, One two, three. three. And how many blue ones do we have? Two. Two? Mm -hmm. One, two. How many pink ones do we have? Five. Five. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And how many green ones do we have? One, two, five. One, two, three, four, five. And how many red ones do we have? Five. One, two, three, four, five. And last but not least, orange and yellow. How many are there? Four orange and three yellows. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So four orange, three yellow equals seven total yellow and orange balls. Now, West, I'm going to see if you are the math wizard you claim to be. I want you to count every single ball right here and tell me what the total amount of balls are on the pan. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say anything, I'm just gonna act quiet. You have to count. But if you need my help, just say Captain Dom, I need your help, okay? okay. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27! 27! Whoa! That is a lot of balls. How about this? We count them. I Let me count them. Can I count them? Yeah. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wes, I need your help. What comes after twelve? Thirteen. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 37, 26, 26, 27, 27 balls. Wes, you did a great job. Wow. Wow, Wes, we had so much fun counting and doing all the different types of counting. I'm really proud that I got to be with a math wizard like yourself. But I'm kind of hungry and I kind of want to get out of here, right? Yeah. All right. You little stars, if you guys want to be a math wizard like General Wes, keep counting, keep playing, and keep having fun. You guys will get there in no time. But till then, see you later. Bye. Hey everybody, today we're gonna count to 100. Do you think we can do it? I know we can. Let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Wow, we counted to 10. Do you think we can try to count to 20? Awesome, let's go. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We counted all the way to 20. Can you help me count to 30? You can, let's try. 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. We counted all the way to 30. Now let's count all the way to 40. Come on, let's do it. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Wow, we counted all the way to 40. Oh, can you help me count to 50? Okay, let's go. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Oh, we counted to 50, it was so good. Now let's get to 60. All right, let's try. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. We counted all the way to 60. Now let's make it all the way up to 70. I know we can do it. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. We counted to 70. Good job. Now let's try to count to 80 together. All right, let's try. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Oh my gosh, we counted to 80. Now let's count to 90 together, okay? Let's go. 81, 82, 
to learn about shapes. Shapes are so cool. I actually know a fun song about shapes. Would you like to learn it? You do? I'm really excited to teach you. Are you ready? Great. I am mama circle round like a pie. I am baby triangle three sides have I. I am papa square my sides are four. I'm cousin rectangle shaped like a door. I am brother oval shaped like a zero. And I am sister diamond with a sparkle and a glow. We are the shapes that you all know. Look for us wherever you go. I'm so proud of you for learning about the shape family with me. Now what I want you to do is go outside and find as many shapes as you can. I'll see you there. Bye! Lasai's Big Adventures. Let's go to the fair. We're going to the fair today. There are so many things to see at the fair. People are riding the rides. Some are riding swings way up high. Others are going around and around. Look at them go. Some are going around and up and down. Whoa! That looks like so much fun. Look at these people way up by the top of the trees. There are lots of food and treats at the fair. I had a churro. It was so tasty. We saw toy animals. And real animals. And I heard the piggy train. so we couldn't get too close. But then we went to the petting zoo and we fed the goats. They're so nice. Wash our hands. I played on a tractor. And we watched monster tracks race around the track. Go. 
wow. Oh no. Oh, great. They're okay. The trucks were so loud. Watching the trucks was so much fun. Now it's my turn to drive a truck. We went around and around and around again. Then it was time to do some climbing. Looks like I'm going to make it. Well, it's time to go. What a great day. And now it's time for a break. Bye for now. Hey everybody, it's Cap- Whoa! Did you see that? What was it? It's right there? Whoa! Do you know what letter that is? That's the letter F. And F makes the f sound. Can you say it with me? Hey, you've been practicing that, haven't you? Well, let's do it together. One, two, three. Great job. If I'm not mistaken, F is the A, B, C, D, E, F. It's the sixth letter of the alphabet. Now, what are some things that start with the letter F? What is that? Five? Yeah! F-I-V-E. Five! And that starts with the letter F. What about, hmm, what was that? <laughs> falafel? Well, yes, falafel starts with the letter F. How'd you know about that? I love falafels, because falafels start with the letter F. Say, do you want to know some other things that start with the letter F? Well, then let's go. The letter F. The letter F. The letter F. The letter F. Fish and fruit. French fries and a flute. Feet and frog. Come on, let's hop along. What about a fox with fur? A fire truck and a blur. A finger. That's cool. These are things that start with the letter F. The letter F. Like fan. The letter F. What about flower? The letter F. Or fleece. The letter F. And a fairy. The letter F. Come on. The letter F. I love the letter F. The letter F. That's right. The letter F. Say it with me. The letter F. The letter. The letter F. One more time. The letter F. These are things that start with the letter F. Now, I hope you had a fun time. Get it? F. Fun? <laughs> oh, silly of me. I hope that you guys enjoyed learning about the letter F. We learned a few words, we danced, and now it's time to get back to what we do best, and that's learn and grow. See you later. Oh, hey there, Mr. T-Rex. How are you doing today? Hi, Dom. That's great. <gasps> oh, ew, Mr. T-Rex. <gasps> Your breath stinks. Mr. T-Rex. When was the last time you brushed your teeth? Uh, a year? A year ago? Oh no! I know what we need, little stars. Do you know how to brush your teeth too? Look, it is okay if you don't. I'm gonna teach you how. And we're gonna start with Mr. T-Rex. First, Mr. T-Rex, you're gonna need a toothbrush. Next, you're gonna need your favorite toothpaste. This is my favorite toothpaste. It's coconut flavor. Ooh. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is put some toothpaste on your toothbrush. Mm. And now, in a circular motion, going up and down, you're gonna brush your teeth. Like this, Mr. T-Rex. Mm. I'm brushing my teeth. Let me see you brush your teeth. Hey, that's a really good technique. Thank 
Thank you, Captain Dom. Now I feel very clean. <laughs> now, it is very important that we brush our teeth. You brush your teeth after you eat a nice snack, a meal, definitely in the morning, and definitely before you go to bed. As always, be clean, be smart, be kind, and that's what makes the sun shine. Right, Mr. T-Rex? Hey, your breath smells fresh.